how he did it with Brake Anatomy 101 on the BMW. So, first thing you're gonna need is to gather some tools. You're gonna need some slide grease, actually slide glide, and some brake caliper grease, as well as a six mil uh, hex, not, yep, yeah. and then also a seven mil. The six mil is gonna be for the brake rotor retaining screw and the seven mil is going to be to remove the caliper bolts. One on top, one on the bottom. And of course you have your sensor, which goes on the main pad on the back. And lastly, you may need a bungee cord to support the caliper up hanging when you're working on it. So let's get started. So today we're looking at a 2013 BMW 335iS and I recently replaced the rotor although I know it doesn't look like it and I accidentally put the freaking brake pad in upside down so I had to take it all apart I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of go over the parts of the rotor and how you get a rotor off so number one you've got the rotor retaining screw, which is here in the middle. This is a little hex bolt. In order to get the rotor off, you're gonna have to remove that hex bolt. That's step one. Step two is there's two slide pins, and these look like this. And these slide pins are what hold the caliper onto the brake. So if we pull this caliper off, you can see there's screw hole number one and screw hole number two. Those are what actually hold the brake onto the brake bracket. Now, if you want to get the rotor off, you have to remove the brake bracket screws. The brake bracket screws are on the back side, and you can see there's two big bolts that hold this set this down that hold this brake bracket on and you will not be able to get the rotor off I'm gonna take this off you will not be able to get the rotor off until you take this brake bracket off and like I said looking back here there's a couple big screws that hold that brake bracket on so to get the rotor off once again you have to remove the retaining screw remove the rotor slide pins, and then remove the brake bracket screws. Then, put it back together, you're gonna to snap your new brake pad in on this side, and then you're gonna use a C-clamp to compress this caliper to make a little room. So then, And that's what it looks like when the rotor's on. Now, the first step to putting the caliper back on the rotor is to go ahead and put those slide pins in. Now, as a general rule, I like to take these slide pins, rough them up with a little sandpaper or a wire brush, and uh, slide grease on these slide pins. And that's what makes the rotor slide back and forth on the rotor, gives it free play. You also want to scrub out your brake bracket if there's any corrosion on it when you remove the brake bracket. So um, that's it. That's the anatomy of a BMW rotor. I know it looks very um, intimidating at first, but the reality is to do the rotors and brakes could be about a $2,000 job at the dealership, and you can do it for, I'd say, three to five hundred um, if you just have take a little time and patience. This is how you do it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.